Hey guys, it's Tuesday, so that means new fish. I'm just uh, acclimating a bunch of them. And I just finished uh, printing up some stickers for the prices. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring these guys upstairs and figure out who's living with who for the next week. Before I go upstairs, I wanted to check out, we got this pig nose puffer. Seems pretty cool. Kind of looks similar to the King Kongs we got in last week. A little lighter and yeah, it kind of has a pig nose. Alright, now let's get upstairs and figure these guys out. So, first part is the easiest. Hey, there's the discus. We got this basket here. We got all the different uh, neons, cardinals, all that. We got two different tanks that we put those in keep the neons and cardinals apart so people don't get confused. Got 50 tank race cardinals going in. And let's see what else we got. Get some Remy Nose Tetras. Remy Nose going in with the cardinals. Let them float for a minute. These are probably the gold neons. Yep. Gold neons. Now we go. Oh. This is Sylvester. He makes sure there's no rats around. And he likes to walk around like he owns the place. And he's not in a good mood today because I had to push him out of his spot because people had to get through. So he's angry at me right now. Sylvester. See, he's ignoring me. Anyway, back to the fish. So we've got. Um, Got a whiptail catfish. These are some of my favorite. The whiptails and also the royal farlowellas. Let's see. It's hard to see them in the bag, so I'll probably uh, just put these guys away and get a better shot of them after they've floated. But one thing that we got in we haven't had in a while is this uh, Disticotus sex fasciatus. Um, we got two of these guys. They are pretty beautiful. Look at those stripes. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and start floating these guys and figuring out who can stay with who. And I'll see you in a second. So I got everybody uh, floating. I guess I'll show what we have already in here too. We got the African butterfly up there, the banjo cat. And also anybody worrying, these things seem a little small. All these guys sell out within, at least, usually the first few days, uh, if not the first week. Uh, so they're not in for long and they're all connected so this is a huge water system and we put a lot of meds in them too. Get some silver hujeta gars um, and uh, red tail hemiotis over there. Got the leopard uh, temopama, whip tail catfish, royal farlowella, one of my favorite. Got a bunch of those at home. Archer fish. I've been contemplating getting one for a while, but I want to set up something where they can uh, actually hunt crickets and stuff, so I got to get a new tank for that before I do that. Spotted headstander. Oh, zebra angel. Uh, a little stifodon goby. Got a couple of those at home. Uh, a red tiger, he's still in his bag. Got the uh, Lampus, uh, the loopy orange. And the little uh, Xenodonis multipunctatus. Some Pictus cats. A little avocado puffer. That's pretty neat. Got some rams. Sorry, this tank's a little scratched. Got some more rams. The gold ram, I think it's the German gold, and the German, the, the German ram. Just got a bunch of uh, electric blue rams and balloon blue rams. They're still floating. Uh, yeah, this, I'm thinking about taking home one of these like, fasciatus. They can get really big, but it takes years for them to get big, like years and years. But they can be kind of aggressive, so. I'm thinking about what tank I'd be able to keep them in. So, that's a maybe. Got a little 
up a pistagramma. Borelli blue. Green Severum, some little uh, Calvis Fairly Blacks, Black Convicts, Honduran Blue Convicts, Pink Convicts, so basically all the convicts. <laughs> some of the little uh, Asian Stone Catfish, cheap little guys too. But uh, these guys are awesome, I've got a bunch at home. I've got an Asian Marble Datnoid floating in here. Oh, uh, this guy, the Anastomus Anastomus. These guys are really aggressive. Kind of, this one's like a headstand or two, but can't keep anyone with him. Another Cisfasciatus. Some Rainbow Dace. Electric Blue Carpinti. Some Raphael Cats. This is supposed to be a keyhole cichlid. He looks a little different, though. I don't know. I'm not a big cichlid guy. Little baby fajaca. This is how small my fajaca was when I got him. My fajaca is now probably about that big a couple months later. This is another really aggressive guy. The double trunk uh, mormorid. Mormorid or whatever they call him. He will murder anything we put in with him. Same with the baby whale can get a little aggressive. Shadow cats. From uh, Carpentes, Texas. American Flag Killies. The Geophagus. Black Belt Cichlid. Now, over here is our much bigger cichlids. Got a bunch of uh, peacocks and stuff like that. Got some Prontozos. Lots and lots of cichlids. The Flag Tail Prochilotus. I love those guys. Also, uh, pigtail chal chalcius. Big old catfish, a bunch of shovel nose. There's also a big old uh, black bar, silver dollar over here. How big that guy is. <laughs> uh, let's see, paradise fish. Nothing too special. Yes, I got a bunch of Deboise. I still got mine at home. Red hook Matanis. And of course the rope fish, African rope or reed fish. Love those guys. And a bunch of little baby black ghost knife fish. Um, need to make a follow-up video on mine, uh, my big old one in his new home. It's under 50 gallons soon. He seems to love it in there. And of course, a whole bunch more big old cichlids. And some big plecos. Not too big, but kind of big plecos. Alright, well, that's the whole upstairs part. We also got some uh, different angels and bettas on here. Got a loyal customer right here. What's up? Uh -huh. <laughs> Got a bunch more Amazon puffers, or is they're labeled Peruvian puffers, same thing. Can't believe how cheap we sell these for. I used to pay so much for mine. Big old flower horn too. This big old long claw, uh, long blue claw prawn. It's gigantic. Some bala sharks, and flag tail prachilotus, and some Assorted angels, some koi, some black. Lots of nice cheap ball of sharks too, for $5.99, two for ten. We've got some monos that were raised in fresh water. We also used to carry some that were uh, raised in cold salt water as well, since these are naturally brackish, uh, but not many people have brackish tanks. Also got a albino red belly paku in. We got one in last week and it sold right away. Hopefully this one will find a new home pretty quick. Uh, the pea puffers. That was awesome. A little baby silver arowana. Got 
topaz pepper. And my coworker Brian unloading some saltwater fish. Mm -hmm. Got all kinds of new stuff in here. Jumping. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Going wild. <laughs> All kinds of stuff coming in today. So here's that pig nose puffer. He's uh, done floating now and he's in his old spot. And yeah, he's definitely got a pig nose. <laughs> Look at him. Got some baby front toes next door and another topaz puffer right over here. I love the way puffers, little uh, pectoral fins, little hummingbird fins. And this little guy is happy now. He's back on his throne, his fluval throne. What's that, buddy? Sylvester. Everybody's uh, put away and good. It's been a few hours, and I am about to take off work. Though so I did decide from our little community area, we got in these little tiny flounders, and uh, I'm gonna end up bringing a couple home. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, video. All the new fish that we got in. Hey guys, um, just made it home. Uh, trying to figure out what tank to put these little guys in. Uh, also, if you made it this far into the video, I'm working on trying to figure out uh, logo and intro. Um, you can see, I like to, in my free time, do some sketches and uh, drawing and painting. So I'm going to start working on something, I'm not sure what. Um, if you have any good ideas, I'd appreciate something in the comments. I'm thinking something with a shrimp or a fish, obviously. Uh, Alright, but uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks.